podium presentation here for day two, stage one. Andreas Diaz had certainly looked like an amazing ride out there. First off, uh, was today about winning the stage or moving up into the yellow jersey? What was your uh, priority today? Well, my priority is if we got in a small group trying to win the stage because I got a good sprint. But during the race, when I attack, I was thinking the overall. So take me through the last 500 meters up to the line. It certainly looked like the, the young Cal Giant rider, John Bennett, had a good jump, but so did you. Yeah, well, uh, I have to do like the last lap and a half by myself, chasing. And when I get to the group, I have to push in the whole day by myself. And the, la the last 10K, the Garmin guys start helping me. And the last four or five K I have to do it by myself, but I was thinking the overall. So I, I know that I, they, they were going to pass me at the end. Is bike racing around the world the same? You're a Colombian rider here in America for your second season. Is it uh, bike racing, bike racing, no matter where you are on the planet? Yeah, it's the same. It's very hard, very, very hard. And what do you look forward to uh, the criterium coming up tomorrow? Is that a forte or a strong for you? No, I just try to recover. It's very hard to be we have to be at the front and try to recover it because Sunday is going to be a hard day. Tell me how it feels to be the rider, the first rider to put Extra G up on a major podium this year. Well, to me it's very important, you know. I want to be uh, big, st big things and I'm very happy to be with this big team and big bodies. And a big future as well for Andreas Diaz of the Extra G team, second on the day, and they're still calculating right now to see if he's moved into the yellow jersey.